Welcome to my teacher closet. I'm so glad you're here today. My name is Miss Colleen and um, I'm going to start with a couple of jokes. These are called Easter yokes and um, there's pr they're pretty funny. There's, there's a whole lot of them so I just thought I'd pick a few for you. Okay, here's the first one. If the Easter bunny lays an egg on a roof, which side will it fall off? Here's the picture. Are you going to open it up? And it says, neither. The Easter bunny can't lay an egg. <laughs> okay. That's, we're going to do this one with this little girl. It says, what kind of beans would you never want to find in your Easter basket? Human beans. <laughs> um, let's see. One more. Eh, let's go to the beginning, see if there's any funny ones. Why is it fun to dye Easter eggs? And they're coloring their eggs. It's exciting. <laughs> I don't know if you found those jokes funny, but I sure got a kick out of them. Um, this book's by Katie Hall and Lisa Eisenberg, and the pictures are by R.W. Alley. So if you ever want some Easter yolks, there they are. Well, today we're going to read a story. We're going to kind of change gears here for a minute. We're going to read a story that's one of my all-time favorite favorites. And it is The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. And her, is it Silverstein? I always get myself confused. Please let me know what you think it is. Poor Shell. Anyway, this is one of my all-time favorites. Excuse me for itching my nose. Um, and um, I just wanted to share it with you today. The Giving Tree. Once there was a tree, and she loved a little boy, and every day the little boy would come, and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches. And eat apples. And they would play hide and seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. Do you see how he carved a me plus T for tree? And the boy grew older. Hmm. Looks like maybe he's got a girlfriend and he carved another heart with his girlfriend's initials. And the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. 
I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. Do you think the boy is going to be happy? And how do you think the tree feels giving her apples away? So the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away and the tree was happy. I wonder if the boy was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. She said, come boy, come climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. Hmm. Will the boy be happy? So the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. Look at the tree. That looks so sad. But the tree was happy. Why do you think the tree was happy that the boy cut her branches off? That's a great idea. I like that idea a lot. I think she just wanted to be around the boy and have him near her. The boy stayed away for a long time, and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me away from here. Can you give me a boat? Come and cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. So the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. Is she even a tree anymore? Again, after a long time, the boy came back. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree. I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. Well, my branches are gone too, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm so sorry, said the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. 
Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. This story always makes me a little sad, but it also fills my heart. The tree loved the boy so much that she gave the boy everything that she had. And all she wanted to do was spend time with him. You know what? We're really lucky. Even though we're um, in a pandemic that's kind of scary, we have the opportunity to spend time with our families, especially those families that um, live in your house. And you know what? It's important to spend time together. It's important to play and to have fun. Um, but we can do that with our brothers and our sisters and our moms and our dads. Or if we live with our grandma or aunts or uncles. Find someone in your house today and tell them how much you love them and that you're willing to give them everything. And maybe just give them a little bit of time today. That's all they probably want is to spend some time with a special kid just like you. All right, one more joke before we go or yoke. <laughs> okay, I hope this is a good one. Um, what is the noisiest Easter egg? <laughs> the yeller one. <laughs> Get it? Yeller, like yellow. That was hilarious. <laughs> Maybe you can come up with your own Easter joke on this Easter weekend. All right, have a good one, and I will see you next week from my teacher closet. Bye, friends.